Hello, I'm Val Zavala. KCT is proud to take a few minutes to spotlight the work of organizations that are making a difference in the world. Some have called Israel Technion Nation. The Technion is Israel's high technology institute. It was founded even before Israel was a state. They said that it should be an engineering school. Why? Because if one day uh, the Jews would like to have a state of their own, somebody must build it. And Technion graduates did. They designed bridges and power stations, water and irrigation projects, roads and railways, and started hundreds of new companies. Their total contribution to the economy of Israel is mind-boggling. Peretz Lavi was doing medical research at UC San Diego when he got a life-changing call. The Technion was expanding from engineering to medicine. The man on the line said, I'm uh, from the Technion and would like to offer you a job. I said, me, Technion? Why? And they said, we have a faculty of medicine. I didn't know. And uh, it took me two seconds to say yes, and the rest is history. Lavi went on to become Technion's 16th president. The Technion continued to expand into robotics, chemistry, computer science, nanotechnology, defense, and biomedical engineering. I think the reason that Israel is able to exist today is from technology created by the Technion. Three Technion chemists have won Nobel Prizes, and its faculty has made scores of major discoveries. We uh, have a graduate who uh, developed a pill that you swallow and take pictures of your intestinal tract that can replace colonoscopy. This pill is now used by millions all over the world. In heart disease, Technion is creating cells that can actually replicate heart tissue. So its medical breakthroughs have been astounding. The Technion graduate develop a system that allow paralyzed people to walk. And it's quite amazing to see somebody who cannot walk, who put on himself this ex-skeleton and he's walking. Not only walking, he can climb stairs, he can go downstairs, he can hold his son. The famous protective iron dome that intercepts incoming missiles was developed primarily by Technion graduates. This is almost a pure Technion production. The distance is such that you have to respond in, in less than a second. It's like you have to stop a bullet with a bullet. But don't let it be said that these science whizzes don't have a sense of humor. That's President Levy. America will soon be hearing much more about the Technion. It partnered with Cornell to enter an intense competition to see who would create a high-tech institute in New York City, one aiming to rival Silicon Valley. On December 18, Mayor Bloomberg announced that the Cornell Technion project is the winning one. It is a dynamic joint submission from two world-class institutions, Cornell University and the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. It's very exciting for the Technion to come to the mainland. And the Technion Cornell Institute will be in New York City on Roosevelt Island. And hopefully the technologies that will come out will change our life in the second half of the 21st century. But there is one non-scientific principle that the Technion has employed since its founding in 1912, the principle of inclusivity. So we have on campus ultra-Orthodox Jews, secular Jews, Muslims, Christians, all living in harmony. And I always say if the Technion was a microcosmos, if the Israeli society would have peace a long time ago. SoCal Cares is brought to you through the generosity of Albert Sweet and Occidental Entertainment Group Holdings.